In this video we're going to be making ourselves a digital badge and we're going to learn the basic tools of Illustrator as we go along as well. It's going to look something like the one you can see on your screen right now. Okay, so let's head over to Adobe Illustrator and get started. To begin with you want to make a new document up. Okay, and we'll give it the name Digital Badge. The profile you'd like to choose for this task is a print profile with one artboard. Okay, so that sets up our page ready for print. We are going to have um, an A4 document and it's going to be in landscape mode. So let's go over to landscape mode there. We're going to put a 3mm bleed on our document. Don't really need it for this task, but for good practice we'll put a 3mm bleed on. In your advanced tab at the bottom, make sure you've got CMYK color mode and you set up for high quality print, so that's 300 pixels per inch. When you're good to go, press OK and you will get the big white artboard on your page. Now to start with, we're going to go over to our toolbox here and select the Ellipse tool. Once you've got the Ellipse tool selected, just hover around the middle of your page there. Your guide will actually show you when you're on the center of the page. Hold the Alt key, hold the Shift key, and simply click and drag, and you will draw yourself a nice big circle on the page. Okay, If you grab your black arrow again, which is your selection tool, just click off it, and you can see you've got a perfect circle there with a black stroke, which is another name for a border and a white fill colour. We're going to change those colours now. So click back on your circle there. And at the moment we've got our fill colour selected. Okay, so the colour you want to choose with your fill colour over in your colour box is a darkish purple. Okay, that looks good. And for your stroke, so let's click on the stroke colour box now to bring it to the front. We just want to click the box below it that says none with the red line through it. And that will just remove the stroke from our shape. Once we've done that, we're going to go up to Edit and Copy. We're going to make ourselves a second circle here. So let's just go down to Paste in Place once you've copied it. And that will paste the same size circle in the same spot as your original circle. Holding Alt and Shift again, I'm going to click and drag from a corner and just resize that second circle a little bit to roughly that size there. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to click off that now, and I'm going to click back on the outside circle, so the bigger circle. And what we're going to do is just rough up the edges a bit by putting an effect on them. So go up to your effect menu at the top and go down to distort and transform and choose the zigzag effect. And for the zigzag effect, you want to check the preview box here first so you can actually see what sort of effects are going on with our badge. I'm going to change the size down to, we'll say, oh, about one millimeter, I think, is going to look good. So if you can get your lever somewhere around the one millimeter mark, 1.06 is fine. That's where I want it. We'll stick with absolute here, and the rides per segment. Let's bump it up to about nine or ten. I'll just give you a few more ridges along the outside of that circle. Last thing we want to do is just check the smooth points option here, and then click OK. And if you click off your badge now, you can see we've got a nice outside. Um, effect there on our circle or on our badge. The next thing I'm going to do is click on the inside circle, so the smaller circle. And we're going to change its colors up. What we're going to do is give it a white stroke. So we're on the stroke um, color here at the moment. If you go to your color box, just press the little white box that you can see at the top and that will give it a white stroke. I'm also going to go up the top to my properties here and change the stroke to two point in size. So it just makes it a little bit thicker. I'm also going to go over to the fill color here and just say none. We're going to remove that fill color entirely and just have that simple white stroke color. Next thing I'm going to do is pick up the ellipse tool again, or the circle tool. And we're going to draw ourselves a little circle at the top of the page here. So I've found the center of my badge. I'm going to go straight up following the guide. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift just inside that thin white line, draw myself a little circle. A real little one is what's going to look best. So I've clicked off that and I can see I've got that little white circle there now, but it's the wrong colors. I actually want a white fill color and no stroke. So I'm going to click on that little circle and just go down to these little arrows here that will switch the colors around. So now I've got a white fill color and no stroke. And what I want to do with this little circle is just repeat that circle all the way around the inside of this thin white line. It's going to make a cool little um, pattern. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click on that circle, go over to my Rotate tool. We can press the letter R to pick it up quickly. 
I'm going to hover back around the center of our page. When you find the center, your guide will show you. Hold down Alt and click on the center. And a rotate box appears. Make sure your rotate angle is set to 10 degrees. And you can check preview, uncheck it and check it just to see how far that little circle is going to move when you do rotate it in a moment. Leave preview on. When you're ready to go, instead of pressing OK, we're going to click the word copy. When I click copy, you'll see that that creates a copy of that circle and it's rotated itself 10 degrees. We're going to keep that effect going all the way around this circle and we're going to do that by pressing Control D. That just duplicates that effect. Okay, so just keep pressing Control D all the way back to the start and we get this cool little effect inside our badge. Okay, I think that looks good. I might even make this by holding Alt and Shift and just dragging in a little bit. I'm just going to make it a little bit closer. Oh, probably not that close. About there looks good. Okay, so our badge is coming together pretty nicely at the moment. Next thing I might do is add some stars into this document. So let's go back to our shapes and choose our star tool. I'm just going to switch the colors early here because I just want a white fill color, no stroke color. And I'm going to hover, where's the center? There's the center. So I want to get right in the center of the document at the top here. Hold Alt and Shift again and just draw a little star. Something like that will look good. I'm just going to hold Control and Alt and scroll on my mouse and zoom in a little bit here so you can see what's going on a bit better. So I've got one star drawn. I want to draw two more, one on either side of this one, and just make them a little bit smaller, with this one being the biggest. So a quick way to copy and paste this shape is to click on it once with your black arrow, hold down the Alt key, and just drag off it. And that will duplicate your shape. You can hold Shift as well if you want to keep it in line. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I might just make it a little bit smaller by holding Alt and Shift. Just reducing the size of it a little bit. That looks something like that. To duplicate this little one now, I'll hold the Alt key, drag off it, hold Shift at the same time as well to keep it perfectly in line. Um, they roughly the same distance apart. Yeah, I'd say so. So about there, we've got the same distance apart. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit now. Yeah, that looks good. Whoops, a few issues with the zoom there. Let's zoom back in a little bit. What I'm going to do is select all three of these stars now by holding down Shift and clicking on each of them. And I'm going to press the Alt key and click and drag off them. I'll hold Shift, keep them in line, and I'm just going to move some stars down towards the bottom of the page. Okay, I might actually put them about there because I want to put some text in in a moment. That means I'm going to have to move these stars down a bit as well. Let's use my arrow keys to nudge them. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So if you can get your digital badge looking something like that so far, you're off to a good start. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on this skinny white circle. I'm going to go and copy it and we're going to paste it in place one more time. Holding Alt and Shift, we're going to resize that circle so it comes down just inside the small circles but just outside the stars. So it's going to look something like that. Now what we're going to do is put some text that follows the path of this circle. Okay, this circle will actually disappear. We're just going to have some text running through there and also down the bottom. So I'm going to go to my Type tool over here and select the Type on a Path tool. Once I've got the Type on a Path tool selected, I'm just going to click on this inner white circle. And you can see the circle disappears, but I've got a mouse cursor now. And I'm just going to write the word Awesome. Now it's very dark text at the moment, so I'll change its color to white. In, in my Properties panel at the top here, I'm going to make it nice and big. Probably not that big though. We'll start with, uh, I'll say, size 36, and we can work with that from there. Might be a little bit too big, but we'll see how we go. So with my black arrow selected, I can give this a bit of a rotate, try and get it in the center. I might even hold Alt and Shift and just make that a little bit smaller so it comes a bit closer to those stars. 
Okay, I can give it another rotate. The text isn't overly appealing at the moment, so feel free to highlight that and choose a font that you think looks good, something that's going to stand out a bit. Um, I haven't even thought about my font choice at the moment, so I can't really find a good one off the top of my head. I'll try this Perpetua. I might change it to bold as well. That doesn't look too bad. Let's give it another rotate and try and get it roughly in the center. Okay, a little bit close to the stars that we can rearrange it in just a moment when I get the next piece of text in. So what I am going to do now is click on that text one more time and go to edit and copy and edit paste in place. Now once I've pasted that in place I have got two lots of text here that says awesome. I can actually grab my white arrow now so my direct selection tool and click on one of these little blue lines that run up and down here. Doesn't matter which one. And you can move this text around. Oh, that didn't work like it was meant to. I'll try that again. They are a little bit fiddly, but just move those levers around and you will start to get your text that you just pasted in coming around the bottom there. Now that doesn't look too good upside down. So what I'm going to do is actually grab this blue lever here and flip it around so it's on the inside of the circle. This is really touchy. We'll take a little bit of uh, a little bit of time to get it right and in the position you want. I'll just try and drop it there. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is just grab my black arrow hold alt and shift and just make that circle a bit bigger again so it goes below the stars not too much bigger I might even move it down a little bit using my arrow just to nudge it around select those stars and move them up I'm going to change the text down the bottom here by double clicking on it and just writing oops I'm in the wrong language here I better go back to English mode I'll just write year 11 ITS I can give that a bit of a rotate now using my black arrow and just hovering around the edges to give it a rotate. Okay, I think the stars are a bit too squished there, so I'm going to move them up. Move these stars down. Now it's just a matter of getting this text looking good. You can just use your arrow keys, nudge them around a little bit. Okay, it's not looking too bad now. I'm pretty happy with that. The last thing we want to do now through this middle section is put in a banner that has your name on it. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is by grabbing the rectangle tool and hovering over the center. Your guide will show you when you're in the center. I'm just going to hold the Alt key now. I'm not going to hold Shift, just the Alt key and click and drag out until I get a banner that goes off my page. Well, I'd say roughly that size will look good. Okay, and then while well, I've got that still selected, I'm going to go across and choose a color from my color box. I just want a nice light orange kind of color. Something like that will look good. Okay, so far so good. Next thing I'm going to do is grab my black arrow, click once on this banner, and I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag off it so we get a second one. What we're going to do is add some little edges onto this banner. Okay, that's probably a little bit too thick at the moment, so I'll just make it a little bit skinnier. It right in the center there. So it's going to look something like that. A little bit basic at the moment, but we're going to change it up and make it look a bit more realistic. So once you've got this little rectangle in place, click on it again with your black arrow, and we're going to add what we call an anchor point just here. So we're going to modify this edge. So up in your toolbox, look for the Add Anchor Point tool and select that. I just want you to hover around the center of the shape and just move across to the edge. When you're on that left side of the shape in the center, just click once and it will insert a little blue anchor point. Using your direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, click on that and just drag it in. It will just give you that kind of flag look to the edge of our banner. Okay. Um, once you've done that, just click on it with your black arrow, hold the Alt key and click and drag across. Hold Shift as well get it perfectly in line and once you're across the other side of the page hold shift again and hover off the corner and rotate it around 180 degrees okay and you can just move that into position roughly 
Oops. Just undo that. I did a, the wrong move then. Yeah. Just want to get it right in the centre. I should say intersect. There we go. So it was a little bit fiddly. Got it in the end. Doesn't look overly uh, realistic just yet, but we're going to keep adding to it to make it look a bit better. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab my text tool. I'll change my colour back to white. And I'm going to write my last name by clicking and dragging inside that banner. Capital letters. And I'll just write bait up. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the centre. Probably give it a bit more size. It is a bit small, so size 60 there looks a bit nicer. And it's still white. So, oh, sorry, it's still black, so I'll make it white. There we go. So that's roughly in the centre of the banner there now. Okay, to get this looking a bit, a little bit more realistic, like a like it's a flag or a ribbon, I'm going to click on this orange part of the banner, the main part, with my black arrow, and then also hold Shift and click on the text as well. So I selected just the main part of the banner and the text. I'm going to go up to the effect menu and give it an effect. The effect I want, um, it's down in warp actually, there it is. In warp we'll select the arc effect. I want to choose something something minor, just around the probably 6 to 8% mark I'd say will look good. I'll go with about 6% on mine. Make sure the preview box is checked there so you can see what's happening. When you've got it, press OK. That just gives a little bit of an arc. Move my text back up. And these little bits on the end just need a bit of a rotate. So click on them and just hover off the edge and give them a little bit of a rotate. There it is. So it's looking a bit more realistic. Might need to be moved up a little bit. Yeah, so that's not looking too bad at all. Alrighty, so that's basically how we make ourselves a digital badge. When you are finished making this, I want you to go to File, Save As, make sure you save it as digitalbadge.ai, so you want it as an Adobe Illustrator file, and click on Save. Okay. If this box appears, don't worry about any of that, just click on OK, and you're all done.